there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do some die cutting. So um, yeah, I love die cutting, I don't know why. I think it's because it's so satisfying to have items ready to go when you need them. I like to die cut in advance, to be perfectly candid. I like to have my die cuts done so that it takes that pressure off of creating a project. Um, and it also kind of spurs your um, some inspiration on what to create if you already have something die cut out. So um, I'm using my diamond press marquee machine. I've shown this before. Um, this is really my go-to die cutter um, just because it's so portable um, and it's compact on my desk. It doesn't take up a lot of room. I can, you know, pick it up and move it off the desk, move it around, take it downstairs and, you know, do die cutting anywhere. And that's what I really like about it. I don't mind that it's manual. Um, this just takes these, um, plastic folders. So you just, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, extra different plates. It's not a plate system, it's just this folder system. You lay the paper in, you lay the die, and you just put it in and crank it through. It's that simple. Um, so yeah, um, this is usually what I use when I'm die cutting, but you know, any die cut machine I'm sure is great. Um, I also have the Big Shot. I don't have any electric machines. Um, I have all manual, and that's fine for me with die cutting. Um, and then, of course, I just get into my cardstock. Um, I like to use scraps when I can, depending on the size of the die. Um, and, you know, you get some little odd pieces like this. I try not to let anything go to waste. You know, I'll try to find something that'll fit on a smaller size if I don't have a die that'll accommodate, then I'll take out some punches and even just do some punch shapes that I can use as layering pieces. So a lot of ways to use your paper scraps and um, you know make the most of crafting when you do that. So let me show you the dies that I'm using for this week. And before I get into that, let me tell you about this collaboration. This collaboration is called Hashtag Die Cut With Me Mondays, and this is hosted by Pebbles from Qualitas Creations. So Pebbles is an amazing crafter. If you don't know her channel, please be sure to check it out. I will link it in the description box below. She does some fun hauls, um, amazing crafts, and I'm so happy that she's hosting this die cut collab because it really kind of spurs me on to um, get my dies out and use them. I think we're all about using our stash now. So um, please be sure to follow that hashtag. Check out my description box below and let me show you the dies that I'm using for this week. Now last month I went on Amazon and I did a little um, craft shopping, a little craft haul, specifically for dyes. Um, I've said this before, I like to buy my dyes, my seasonal dyes in the off season. Um, it just, the prices are usually a little bit better. Um, usually I don't have to struggle with them selling out and then I have them ready to craft with when I want to. Um, two die sets that really jumped out at me were this lantern set from KS Craft and the Halloween Words. So I'm enjoying doing some halfway to Halloween crafting, and so I wanted to bring out both of these sets of dies because I wanted to do, um, you know, a little bit of, um, a little bit of die cutting so that I have them ready for my Halloween projects. So this KS Craft Lantern die, um, um, it's actually meant to be a shaker die. And interestingly enough, when I saw it, I thought about Halloween, but I think it's really designed for Christmas because it comes with this beautiful snowflake. I did cut some of these out as well. So I think the point behind the design of this was to make some Christmas lanterns. And I did make one 
um, and I made shakers, um, just a couple of shakers, because you know how I feel about shakers. I'm not thrilled about making them, but I did uh, make a Halloween and a Christmas shaker with this die. And then I cut out a lot of the snowflakes because I thought, this actually cut out beautifully for a snowflake. If you're looking for a snowflake die, and I have quite a few, this has really become one of my favorites. I thought it cut out beautifully. I used some silver, almost holographic paper that I had in my stash, and I loved that. But the point behind the die is really these lanterns. So um, they cut very nicely. I did cut them. Um, as I said, I made shakers, so I used some Judikin's um, clear window cling. Uh, that's impossible um, acetate cut out really nicely uh, for my my acetate piece. So I'll show you those, but um, I did cut the that one out. And then the Halloween words. Now I love a word die that has a shadow. I just think that it gives you a lot of versatility. You can cut the shadow in different colors and you can cut the words in different colors. I elected to cut all my shadows in black, but of course you don't have to because they're Halloween. Then I cut the words out in some scraps of um, green and orange, and um, I think I might have cut some purple, but primarily it was green and orange that I had available. So this is Haunted, it's Candy, it's Potion, Boo, and Spider. I think it's an interesting selection of words. And then I also had this die that's Happy Halloween. I think this is also KS Craft, but I'm not 100% sure. I just included it um, on a magnetic sheet with these other Halloween words because, again, it's the word and the shadow and the theme was, was Halloween for me. So these cut out very nicely as well. KS Craft is becoming one of my new favorites for um, dies, I know many of you have a lot of KS Craft, and I am slowly um, building my stash. Really, with when it comes to dies, I am usually a stamp and die person, as opposed to just a lot of random dies that make boxes and bags and all of that. Um, that's not really my thing. I do have some. But primarily, I go with a stamp and die collection so that I don't have to fussy cut. But you know how I feel about sentiments, and I love having Halloween sentiments as the focal for a stamp. Now I can make a stenciled background, an ink blending background, uh, maybe a creepy moon or, you know, a nice monster, some bats and ghosts and one of these sentiments, and I'm on my way to an amazing looking card. So let me show you what I die cut out for this week. Okay, so let's look at the um, lantern dies first. So I cut out three of the lanterns. Actually, I cut a lot more lanterns than you see here. I did not use foam tape on these shakers. Um, what I did was I cut the bottom piece multiple times so I didn't have to use foam. And that's what gives it the depth for the shaker part. So I just elected not to use foam only because it's a little bit finickier, especially when you have something that's not a perfect square that has all of these curves to it. It's a little bit easier for me to just lay up the pieces. So I did kind of a lot of die cutting. The interesting thing about this die is that you get some um, really pretty kind of cutoffs from the center of it. Here's what that looks like. Isn't that nice to use for another project? Um, so I have a lot of, of these guys, which were the center. Um, and I did that for both of the shakers. So here's the little Christmas shaker. Here you can see one of the snowflakes, although I cut out a lot more that I'll show you in a second. Um, and I just added uh, some whatever little shaker bits that I had on my desk. I didn't do a really great mix for this only because I wanted to do these kind of quickly. Um, and then I added um, some Stampin' Up 
little rhinestones here and on the center of the um, snowflake. And of course, you know, whatever project I add this to will be additionally embellished. So um, I went a little bit simple with that, but I think it's got a lot of nice, good shake to it. And you can see the shaker bits there and they move around kind of nicely. This one I did as a non-shaker. This one I just wanted to decorate um, just as a little Halloween embellishment. Um, I added a little black bow to the top and I added some other little die cuts um, that I had already cut out and the little ghosts and that bow. And then again, a few little rhinestones there just for a little something else. So you can just use these on their own um, which are cute too. You don't have to make shakers, which I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of being able to get the most you can out of a die. Now, this is my little Halloween shaker lantern. And here I've added, um, my shaker bits are some of the silver stars that you also saw a few of in the Christmas one. And also some bats, um, a lot of black, bat shaker bits are in there and um, also some purple glitter and then these are some of those are uh, really pretty gray and black um, flowers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I was very lucky to find that pack of black and gray. If you see that don't pass it up. Um, I would have bought a case of those if they would have had them in my Dollar Tree. I saw them once, never saw them again. Story of my life, but we won't get into that. You know, you got to get it when you see it kind of a thing. And I did, but I wish that there were more. Um, and then again, this one I also just layered up by continually die cutting because I didn't want to use the foam. But I think that's got a lot of good shaker goodness happening in there as well. And it looks a little bit... Um, you know, a little bit spooky. Of course, when I add this to my project, I'm probably going to add a spider web, probably a nice, um, you know, Frankenstein head or a mummy or something, and maybe a witch, do a witch theme with the, um, you know, the little lantern. And just, there's so many ways that you can go with this die. I really like it. So those are the three that I made with the with the uh, lantern die. So here are the Halloween words with their shadow uh, backing that I die cut. So I've got Happy Halloween in the orange with the black background. And then I also cut it out with the green. Isn't that a great green? Um, and I love the way these cut out. I love the shadow layer. It would be really fun also to, to swap it, cut the background in green and the letters in black. I think there's, there's just so many options. So that's the Happy Halloween. I also uh, did the Haunted. And here it is in orange. Love it. potion. And I also bought um, a Valentine potion bottle um, that was that's meant for Valentine's Day, but of course I'm going to use it for Halloween. So this potion is perfect. And here it is in green. And then of course the boo cut out beautifully. Really pretty. Um, here's spider. Wouldn't that be beautiful with a bunch of um, spider die cuts or um, a stencil of a uh, web, which I have a, a great one that I'm excited to use. And uh, then uh, I think Tim's got a great um, spider web and the spider. And then just to accent it by using this word, I think it's gonna be so much fun. And um, I also cut that out in orange. I, I did pretty much everything in both colors just because, um, you know, I was on a roll. But those are the only two colors that I picked out for the Halloween was the green and the orange and then, of course, the black background. Now, here I made a bunch of that snowflake. Now, look at what a great snowflake that is. Isn't that pretty? 
That was just the bonus that came along with the lantern. I'm not exactly sure why they threw this die in, but I'm happy that they did because it cut beautifully and it's really a nice shape. And um, this paper isn't photographing well. It's, it's like a silver uh, holographic. So I don't know if you can pick up any of that, but it's really, really pretty. And I did a lot of these because, you know, when I get going with Christmas cards and memory decks for Christmas and ATCs, I use a lot of snowflakes. So I have a lot of, I have a lot of really beautiful snowflake dies. If you've watched some of my Christmas videos, you've already seen them. I have ones going back from Simon Says Stamp for a number of years when they really, um, you know, did some very intricate snowflake dies. But I have to say this one is a great size and a good shape and it cuts very nicely. So that's so important with snowflakes because you want to make sure that you don't get a lot of pieces stuck in the die when it's uh, so intricate, that can be a little bit tricky. This was not the case with this die. So that's the snowflakes. I know we've got multiple seasons happening here as usual, but um, snowflakes and Halloween words, so perfect. So here is one more look at what I die cut for this week's hashtag die cut with me Mondays. I hope you enjoy taking a look. Please be sure to follow that hashtag and check out the other collaborators that are jumping in and showing what they're die cutting for the week. A big thank you to Pebbles from Qualitas Creations. Please be sure to check out her channel as well. Thank you, Pebbles, for hosting. I'm wishing you all a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.